Hi, everyone. Welcome to your reading for March 15th. So I've already pre-shuffled, meditated on the energies. We'll see what we get. What are the messages, Spirit? For March 15th. Ask and you shall receive. That's one of the first lessons of learning to follow your intuition, just knowing that even with the cards, we can um, see what's going on in the mind. And if we ask for help, ask and you shall receive. Help, love, answers, guidance. So thank you, Spirit, in advance for the messages that we receive in all kinds of ways that we are open to. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you'll never miss a video. All right, let's see what we have for March 15th. The world, I've already seen that card pop out. It's a new beginning. The Eight of Swords. We had this last time, the illusion of being trapped. And yet around it, we have a new world and a cup of love from the divine. Wow, this is a different deck and I've shuffled and I'm getting the same cards. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Emperor, Divine Father. So this is someone in your life or yourself that has spiritually evolved. Um, his mind is one with, with the Christ. He is guided in everything he does. He um, does what's best for the whole at all times. He is a heavenly leader. Um, so either you're coming into this state of mind more and more, or there's someone in your life that's helping you. In the middle, you have the Ace of Cups, which is a gift of love from the divine. So something good is going on. Um, but around this new love again, there is conflict. So there is... Yeah, it's just going inside to um, make a decision about possibly this new world, this new love. Um, with this illusion, again, of being trapped, you know, this girl's not tra trapped. She can slip out of this loosely. It's like a shawl that's wrapped around her loosely. She could slip her arms right out, pull off the blindfold, and walk out of that. It's not even a cage. It's only a half circle of swords around her. So there's an illusion of being trapped again. There is conflict in the mind, and you're going inwards to ask for and see the truth. And let me tell you, very quickly you come into this truth because surrounding, again, surrounding these conflicting energies, certainty... And this Queen of Swords is clear. This is not her. So this energy is only temporary. You come into an energy of clarity and um, decisiveness, certainty, um, and you're extending that. This Queen is extending her truth to others, um, cutting through the bullshit, so to say, cutting through the crap, leaving behind the conflicted energy, making a decision to walk out of the seeming illusion of entrapment, grabbing your cup of love from the divine and walking into your new world, the new world where the mind is divine. The mind is divine. Let's get one more message from the universe. We're going to call this the divine mind. Letting go of conflict and into the divine mind. Let's get one more message, please. I have to write it down or I'll forget. <laughs> Sorry. It's just one of those things. All right. Let's see if there's another message we can get from the universe. Okay, the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. You're coming back into your heart space. And whatever it is that you once loved to do, um, 
that was creative is coming back in for you. So um, it's a new world. That mind that you have with the Christ, that divine mind is bringing in your artistic and creative abilities. Those are the messages I have for you. I'll see you next time. Let every word once spoken fade. Let every thought in dust be laid. Mm, let it go.